Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Sable. In the last episode we came to the... Ooh. Lightning Plateau was what I was going to say there. And we are hopefully going to have a look up there and get some crystals for one of our missions. But... Can I fast travel here? I do not believe I can. A small part of me wants to go back and see the chum layer, but you know what, let's, let's, while we're here, let's do that since we can't fast travel back here. Hopefully we can get up an easy way. I'm, I'm hoping for a ladder, is what I'm basically saying here. There's everyone around here somewhere, right? We have the rubber suit. I don't think it's going to make a difference, but we have it all the same. Maybe that means we can get struck by lightning and not have horrendous... Oh, back up, back up, back up, back up. We didn't have enough stamina. Uh, horrendous side effects of being struck by lightning. We get up this way. I'm kind of hoping the sun comes up at some point. That'd be nice. Are we weirdly... Well, I, th I feel like we're making noise now we wear this armor. We're jingling. Oh. Oh, it's a statue. I did not notice. I think we we could climb up this building here, maybe? Maybe this will allow us up on the plateau. Climb. Well, the thunder is definitely working, that's for sure. So, the man told us that we had to wait A thunder to strike the crystals and then we pick them up. But I'm still looking, going, how do I get up here? <laughs> uh, th there's going to be a bloody staircase, isn't there? And I'm, I'm finding the most awkward way of getting up there possible, but this does look like it will work. We are parkouring to the max right now. Oh dear. No, 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 it's fine. It's perfectly fine. Uh, up here, I guess. I hope. Oh, is this not actually the... Oh, hello. There we go. Is this not actually the top? Wait a minute. Oh. Here's a, here's a statue of a man who's fallen over. What a bizarre... What a bizarre thing to make a statue of. Like, oh yes, by the way, I fell over, but it does look like it's the way up, so. I've just realized how black our character is right now with all this, with the rubber armor on. We've gone, we've gone mad ninja. Quick look around for chums. I do still want the ninja armor. I don't, I haven't come up with a way of making money yet. Like, reliable, anyway. Reliable way to make money. I do have some scrap. I know we could sell the scrap. It does not sound very nice up here, I'm just saying. The Crystal Plateau. Oh, it doesn't look that bad. Oh, I have absolutely no idea what's happening. What do the actual... What do the crystals look like? Are they little? Are they big? Also, let's keep our eyes open for... Ah, is that a lightning crystal up there? You see that yellow thing sticking out of the... Uh, the rock? I wonder if we can run up this. Oh, oh god. Okay, I broke it. <laughs> that was I didn't expect that to happen. Hmm. Look around. Somebody decided to build a temple up here. I guess this is where the uh, the architecture, no, the technology is to make this to generate this perpetual storm. They definitely said, wait for the lightning to strike, but I'm not seeing lightning striking anywhere. I hear it. I hear thunder. Oh, 
Oh, look, there's people holding up the things. Ah, maybe they just broke because the lightning wore off. Try that again. Maybe because it said you have to be quick, so let's be quick. Ha ha ha! Oh no, I fell off! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> ah. Oh god, I got stuck under something. Get, get back on there. Oh, I think we're gonna run out of time. Yeah, there it is. But yeah, okay, so I have to wait for lightning to strike onto one of these black pillar things and then jump up and find the crystals up there. That is rather cool. Just have to be very quick. Very quick indeed. Where is Lightning Air Strike? Over here? Yep, over here. Didn't grab on. Bummer, bummer, bummer. It's surprisingly hard to get there. Like, yes, I want you to grab onto that. No. Okay, so I can't. Whoa. Half the time, I'm just fighting with the camera. Okay, so I just can't grab onto the crystals? Hmm. That's going to make this remarkably interesting. Hmm. Wonder if there's an easier way to get onto the crystals before they break? Maybe from one of these towers? again? I can... I wonder if I can climb up to the top and then drop down. Is that cheating? In any second now, this one's going to get inviolized, so I don't want to climb it now. There it is. Won't grab onto that either. Hmm. How did I manage to grab onto it last time? Oh, my controller just turned off. That's bad timing. <laughs> I think it needs to be charged. I'll have to find the cable. It's around here somewhere. Of course, it's possible that I've already got the lightning crystal off of one of these, and there's one on each, uh, each one of these things. Seems possible. That is incredibly infuriating. Why is the character not grabbing onto things? But then sometimes they are. That's the annoying thing. It's like, ah, sometimes they do, and then other times they don't. Nope. It could be that it's bobbing up and down. I'm guessing when it bobs up or something, it's not in the right place. But otherwise, I cannot see a way onto this thing. Oh, I guess from that roof. Okay, I'm going to climb up onto this roof. 
I'm going to wait on that roof for it to re-lightning and then we'll see if we can work something out. Whoops. Oh my god. I think I've just lost the ability to climb in this game today. Hmm. I didn't want to grab on. I needed, I needed, I needed what? Three? Yes. Three. More fool me for thinking this wasn't going to be that difficult. Okay, can I get onto one from here? It's also possible. I'm just missing something. <laughs> Seems to be the theme of these uh, these videos for Saber. Higher up as well. Okay, there's one. No? Okay, so you'd grab onto this one, but you won't grab onto the one past it. I don't understand it at all. I don't get it. It's infuriating. It makes zero sense to me in my mind. It's like, if I can grab onto this surface made out of the same material, why can I not grab onto the one past it? I'm just going to go hope there's an easy one to find on this one, because we haven't been over here. At least I don't think we have. No, we haven't. Yeah, so we're going to wait for this one to come back. And then, uh, see if we can't get one off of here. And then that's the three we need. But I, I like... I imagine we could sell these for quite a bit of money, so I'd like to find a way of getting them more reliably. There's probably a bloody staircase to get to the top of here as well. That the sound of lightning striking that tower? Any minute now. Nice and easy one sticking out of anywhere. There's one right there. Okay. Let's see if we can get to it without the game going crazy. Oh, thank heavens. Oh, that one. What if it's just if I have to be really close to the pillar? Hey! Good luck. Whoop! Oh dear. You're telling me on the last one I somehow mysteriously find the secret of climbing up these damn things? Colour me slightly bitter! <laughs> Good lord! No idea. No idea why I could climb that. Okay, well we got what we needed. I have no idea how much they're worth. If anything, they might just be quest items. Right, so now we need to hand these in... In Ecria, or was that in... The Seven Sisters Station? It, oh, it's doing that thing where it's constantly on... Removing my active mission. It is in the Seven Sisters Station. Okay, let's go back there, then we're going to check out the Chum layer. Because we haven't done it, we've been collecting a lot of chums, I want to see what they do. And hopefully fast travelling there will let me get there without getting lost. Who was it that wanted the lightning? Oh, it was... Was it the machinist? Yeah. Was indeed. I greet Sahara. She nods. Get those crystals yet? I have them right here. 
I give her the crystals and she nods approvingly, tossing them around in her hands and inspecting a crackling glow of each one. I stand, impassive, my arms crossed this time. Hmm. My inputs on my controller are broken. There we go. Uh, <laughs> my controller's being very weird today, apparently. Uh, so what do you think? I think you deserve a badge. The horror hands me a machinist badge. I thank her and ask what she intends to do with the crystals. I like this. I'm building bike parts. I'm happy to offer them up for trade if you've got a mind to make something big, fast, and electric. My ears perk up. You'd have to slap it together yourself, but that's how you bond with a bike, right? Putting it together piece by piece. Bonding with a bike. I think of the soft, static hum I feel in my hands when the sun is warm on Simoon's surface, and how she brings to mind a basking beast. We do bond, her and I, don't we? I tell Zahara I'll be sure to come to the machinists next I need such things. Next time I need such things? And we say goodbye. I say goodbye to Zahara. Yay! I think I could get a machinist mask now. Do I have enough to get a machinist mask? Badges. Yes, I have three. We, uh, there is somebody to do masks here, isn't there, at this outburst? Shall we have a look? Oh, do you actually sell those bike parts you were talking about? Let's have a look at them. Wow, that's very, um, lightning-y. Not really my design idea, but who knows. Uh, okay. Oh, that's not going to work. I haven't got enough stamina, all right. Oh, bugs. These bugs definitely respawn. And we also, we definitely jingle when we run. 100%. It's going to be the crystals in the backpack, isn't it? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure I could wear this armor if it's going to keep jingling. You know, drive it at the wall. There was the tent. Go down here, is this it? I think this is it right here. Let's have a look. Let's see if we can make the machinist. Mask. The atmosphere in the tent is tense. In uncomfortable. Claim the machinist mask. I show my machinist badges to the mask caster. Okay, we've got the machinist mask. Let's see what it looks like. Made from rough parts of old ships, beaten to a smooth, perfect surface. A mask, beautiful because of its functional qualities. I actually quite like that mask. I don't know why, but we I, I, I like it more than the cartographer's mask. Let's put it that way. Okay, so let's go check out the chum layer. Hopefully we can find our way in. Because last time it was a mess. Telling me there was a door. Right here. 
And I somehow just never found the door? Oh my. I mean, honestly, I'm not surprised. Oh, <gasps> it's a giant chum. Oh, hello. Upon seeing the frankly humongous chum holding up the remains of an ancient stone tower, I nearly jump out of my skin. Before I collect myself, I hear a voice cooing in my head. Ah, hello, Wanderer. Please don't be frightened. The giant chum cocks its head at me and chirps. Are you talking to me? I realise, as I ask that, this question is for my own benefit. I am talking to you as much as I am able to talk. And you're able to perceive my thoughts. But I assure you, I am as real as you are. I hear you are carrying some of my children. I can feel the eggs squirming in my satchel at their mention. I relax suddenly, comforted by the absurdity of the situation. Your name is old and vast, like the desert. I mouth the syllables as it chirps silently. Sable, how beautiful. I don't have a name as such, but I am the queen of the chums. You may call me Queen Chum or Chum Queen, as you prefer. I bow my head politely. It is an honour to meet you, Queen. The Queen seems surprised by my formality. Oh my, you're such a proper little human. Well, your being here feels very lucky indeed. Perhaps you could help us. Our eggs are scattered throughout the deserts, but they need to be planted somewhere safe. Bring them here, little one. I will be able to give you something for your favour. My answer comes without hesitation. A big yes. You're a kind little slug, aren't you? I think I'm going to like you, Sable. To start things off, bring me five eggs. I have them already. You've been busy. So many of us already. Excellent work, Sable. The queen coos at me while her gentle voice resonates in my head. Oh, how fortunate for you to have taken an interest in us. I find myself smiling at this magnanimous compliment. You're a rare specimen in this age. Oh my, she is huge! Um... Chum Queen Tear. Oh, stamina increased. <laughs> That's how you get more stamina, huh? Well, now you've got me all emotional. Lucky for you, the tears of a chum carry great power. But I suggest you keep that information to yourself. I nod solemnly, sparing her any elaboration on her suggestion. The tear feels like a gift. I feel stronger, more resilient. Bring me 15 eggs next. Blimey, you've gone up. Do I have 15 eggs? Deliver eggs, I think I do. No? So kind of you to visit again. You've helped us become quite a little collective. That imagined voice is like a cool towel on the back of my neck. All the little ones you've brought home are so thrilled to be part of my family now. Oh, I guess I did have 15. Has that just doubled my stamina?
You've spared them a life of solitude and distant wanderings. They're so grateful, even now in their youth. I feel the power of the Queen's tear buzzing within me, even as I hold back my own. Now, I'll need 20 eggs from you. I don't think I have 20 eggs. I have three. <laughs> I have the three. But, now I should be able to climb t for twice as long. I want to know what's behind these doors. I assume I have to deliver so many chums. Oh, guys, we have so much more stamina now. This is going to make things so much easier. Oh, wow. Can you climb up? The Bit of a random question. Can you climb up the chum? Because there's like a, there's a tower at the top and I want to know. I want to know if I can get to it or not. Ah! She knocked me down with her, with her ears. Her ears? What are those things? Antennas? Antennae? Yeah. No, you know what? Never mind. It doesn't matter. I'm sure at some point it'll become relevant. Hey, we can see through the door. I want I want what's in that chest. There's a chest in there. Oh, no. I wonder what's in the tower. I'm guessing once you get enough stamina, like you get like the maximum stamina or something, you can climb up there. Who knows? So. Still haven't found out what these ancient ring-shaped artifacts are for. We should probably look at a view from the bridge at some point. Not that I know where that bridge is. We have uncovered a very large amount of the of the map at this point, which is pretty cool. I should go drop off the the scrap as well to the scrap man. The scrap man was at Burnt Oak, wasn't he? I think. Let's do that, and that's a perfect place for me to end the episode. But we'll we'll drop off the scrap. We'll take some money. I think he was over here. Yes. There indeed. Oh, I can also sprint for longer. Isn't that wonderful? Hello, friend. Alden barely looks up at me. Hope this scrap's better than what you brought me last time. Which was good too, but, you know, always strive for better. I fetch everything I found for him, handing it over piece by piece. Alton nods. Not a bad start, Sable. I say you've earned a scrapper's badge for that. Oh! Alton hands me a badge, lightly encrusted in pale sand. Yeah, sorry. That one was kicking around under my desk for ages. I'll give you a clean one, but... He just trails off. I say thank you. I say goodbye to Alton. So there's a scrapper badge as well. Interesting. Can anyone remember how much the armor was for the nin I kind of want the ninja armor. But on the other hand, maybe I should use this money to... To, uh... Upgrade my bike, because my bike is sorely lacking. What, we have one beetle badge. Didn't we have two beetle badges? Did we pick up a quest for the beetle lady? Maybe I never spoke to her. In, in twin... Uh, in the twin sister's place? Seven sisters, even not twin. Because there's a there's a pub here, isn't there? It's like a hotel. Oh my! There's a, there's a storm in England right now. Uh, there is more rain in my window than I have ever seen in my life, and the world is officially pitch black. I can bet. <laughs> I'm just sitting here. I looked away from my screen. I was like, "Wow, this room is this room is really dark all of a sudden. What's going on?" Is it you? Greetings, Glider. What can I do for you? Say goodbye. Hmm. Okay, well that's something I'm going to worry about in the next episode, because we have come up to the end here. I'm not sure what we're going to focus on next time, but I'd like to find out if we can get more Beetle Badges. I thought there'd be one in every, uh, every place like this, but maybe not. So I'm going to thank you all very much for being here. 
uh, let me know what you think. Your comments are greatly appreciated. Like and subscribe, all that jazz. And as always, I'll see you next time.